In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the trend in reactivity as we go down group 7. Group 7. Now, group 7, the groups, the elements in group 7 are often referred to as being the halogens. The ha halogens. And when they form ions, when they react, well, when, when they react, what they tend to do is they tend to gain an electron and form negative ions most of the time. So halogens would, I would represent the halogen with an X. So this X would be any halogen, so maybe chlorine or bromine or anything. And this would gain an electron, one electron. The reason why it gains one electron is so that when it gains that electron, it'll have an outer shell. I mean, a full outer shell. And so it gains that electron and then it forms the a negative group 7 ion and the name we give this is not a, not a halogen anymore what we do is we call it a halide halide and we would say we, we could refer to this as being a halide ion halide ion so this would be the halide ion and this would be the halogen and if you remember from maybe salt or something like like typical table salt like sodium chloride um the chlorine the chlorine part of the uh compound is a negative ion it's an it's a it's a basically this so cl minus and we call that part of it chloride and so that goes with this halide part so for any of the uh, given um group seven elements the ion would be called would have the uh, ide ide um, ending so it'd be fluoride chloride bromide iodide now if we now take a look at the trend in reactivity as we go down the group one of the things i want to take a look at first is the trend in electronegativity because a lot of the factors which affect electronegativity also affect the ability of um, of these atoms to attract electrons, which is what they're doing when they're reacting, because they're forming ne negative ions, they're attracting an electron. So as we go down the group, electronegativity decreases, En goes down. And if we take a look at the reasons behind this, usually the reasons behind electric, well, the reasons behind the trend in electronegativity, first of all, the, the size of the atom increases. So to the reason behind that is the number of shells increase, And therefore, the size of the atom increases. And because of the size of the atom has increased, uh, there's a greater distance between the electrons, the outer, outer electrons, and the positive nucleus. Greater distance. Between outer electrons. And positive nucleus positive nucleus now one of the other things which happens uh, is that they're not did the because the number of shells are increasing shielding increases as well so there's gonna be increase an increase in shielding increase in shielding as you go down the group And this is going to mean that the outer electrons are less strongly attracted to the nucleus. So, outer electrons less strongly attracted to the nucleus. Now, because of all of these factors, right, electronegativity decreases. And the other thing which this, this all of these affect is they cause the ability of that, elect, that atom to attract an, more electrons. Um, the ability for, of that atom to attract more electrons also decreases. So the so now we're taking a look at the, the factors affecting react, the, trend in react, the, the reason behind the trend in reactivity. The... Uh, atom is less able to attract 
Oh, I did white. I ch chose white by accident. Atom is less able to attract. Electrons. Strongly. So, because of all of these factors, the trend in the trend in reactivity which we observe is that the reactivity decreases as we go down the group. Now, in the next in the next video, what I'm going to be taking a look at is is what happens because of this trend in terms of the uh, the dis in terms of displacement reactions. So maybe one is more reactive than the other, and if we mix a uh, maybe a halogen with a halide. Uh, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna get get the most electrons? So in the next video, I'll be talking about that. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.